I've been with Bristol Myers Squibb for 26 years now. I've crisscrossed the country twice for Bristol Myers Squibb. And what's kept me here and kept me passionate and devoted to the science is that we are doing high quality science. We have a rich history in understanding the immune system and a real freedom to operate and explore and do innovative research. We have all the technologies you need to do experimental research. Uh, we have the support from the organization to do experimental research. I am Steve Nadler, I'm head of the Translational Biology Group within the Discovery Organization at Bristol Myers Squibb. Our group is responsible for doing translational research experiments and generating data. Exploratory translational research is research we're doing within the labs at Bristol Myers Squibb to really try to dissect the human pathophysiology of disease, specifically autoimmune disease as well as cancer. And the scientists in the lab are generating data to enable us to generate hypotheses that may predict which patients will respond to our drugs that are going into clinical development. The ultimate goal of our exploratory translational research group is really to generate high quality data that enables us to identify the interpatient variability in the different pathways that we're targeting with our assets. So our ultimate goal is to understand these pathways that are dysregulated, design assays that will be specific for the asset that is going into the clinic to enable us to better enrich or really go down the path of personalized medicine where we can choose the right patient for the right asset at the right time. Our exploratory translational research group is generating large amounts of data, generating flow cytometry data, proteomics data, genomics data. Another very important component is histology data and immunohistochemistry data. And so what we want to do is really link all the data that we're generating with the data that are being generated in our pathology group so that we can understand the architecture of the tumor using the pathology data and couple it with the data that we're generating in our laboratories. Bristol-Myers Squibb has a long-standing history in understanding the immune system. We've been working on immunological pathways for almost 25 years. And so it's an amazing evolution from something that was very primitive 25 years ago to technologies that we apply to these patient samples today, where we can generate 30,000 data points on a single sample within hours that would have taken days, weeks, or months to generate many years ago. And so that's really accelerated our ability to understand the immune system, as well as to develop drugs and identify drug pathways. I can tell you personally, both of my parents passed away from cancer, and so I think about these consented human patient samples that are coming in to Bristol Myers Squibb every day. And so we appreciate what these patients have gone through and how they're contributing to the science. And so they are giving us their blood and tumor biopsies to really enable us to hopefully better treat them, but also to help every other patient. And so I think, and my entire team thinks about these patients on a daily basis.